So today is the day that these lovely seed potatoes that have been sprouting so nicely, chitting, get planted. Okay, so I've changed locations and now uh, I'm up at the allotment ready to plant these seed potatoes. So what I did yesterday was mark out the rows and holes so I know how many I need to get. Um, I've also marked on my dip uh, some marks, so 5, 10 and 15 centimetres. Uh, these potatoes need to be planted at about between 10 and 15 centimetres deep. So what I'm going to do first is just pop a bit of water in the holes. Just so there's some moisture there. And then the next job is I'm going to use my marks. Um, these, these potatoes are quite quite chunky, it's a bit more chunky than this dibber, so I'm going to need to make some, some decent holes here in the ground so they'll sit in nicely. Do that in a few places, make sure I'm getting to the 10 to 15 centimetre depth. And I'm going to do that all the way along. Got to watch out because the soil, soil is sort of falling in as well. So make sure I've got a nice, nice, nice width in the hole. Then I'm going to come along with the... Uh, this one's a bit tricky actually because it's got sprouts on, on either side. But um, it ultimately needs to be the rose end up. So where we've got... The, uh, the sprouts that were chitted and then I'm going to put that in the hole and cover it up with some soil making sure I'm getting a nice nice size hole so it's going to have contact with the soil all around checking my marks again and then popping the Sea potato in and covering up with some nice fine soil um, which I had hoed just the other day. So that is my job this morning and I'm going to go all the way up so I've got Colleen potatoes here and then I'm going to carry the row on with shallot potatoes and then um, a bit later on I've got another two rows for their main crops, um, which are going to take much longer rows. Uh, that's my task for the day. See how I get on. <laughs> 